Hey folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play EU4 Common Sense Expansion as Ferrara. So in the last episode, we just swallowed up Mantua. We've got to wait until we get a few more um, admin points so that we can core them. And we are going to want to make sure to limit how much aggressive expansion we have. We want a lot of it to burn off uh, early on. It's very important not to trigger any coalitions. Plus, we do need to make sure we have some amount of friends. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Savoy is going to be a pretty good ally for us. Unfortunately, they were in a war against Burgundy and have accrued a lot of debt, which means they're much less likely to want to get into a war um, on my behalf. Uh, Austria might intercede um, against me in a few little wars here and there. So if we can get them to like us more than just neutral, that would be quite good. Um, well, we can't unlawful territory. Yeah, that's that's too bad. We do have a royal ties. I think we can get them to flip. At some point, hopefully, they won't actually uh, demand the unlawful territory. And once that all gets... Oh, there it is. I will decline. Which makes them really mad. They are busy, though. They are in two separate wars. So hopefully, they're going to be too busy to actually jump in on me. Um, I might have wanted to time this so that I could um, make my core a little bit faster. Oh, I need a new rival. Uh, Tuscany, who already hates me anyway. So I may as well do that. Um, I could go and spend a little bit of money, go for the prestige guy, on an admin advisor just to get a few more points. I am focusing military because I really want to make sure before there's a war against um, Milan, it would be nice to hit level 4 first. Or even level 5 has got some good stuff as well. So if we can get a bit of a head start on the military tech, uh, I will be extraordinarily happy. A little bit of unrest going on over here. Actually, quite a bit. Separatism and unlawful territory. But no nationalism? Has nationalism been reworded to separatism? Actually, that kind of makes a lot of sense. I mean, they're, you know, sort of nationalist interests, but what they really want to do is they want to separate from you. And the unlawful territory does not help us well at all. So, anyway, hopefully we can get that resolved soon. But again, just like most HRE starts as a small nation, um, it is going to be very slow at first, very cautious, can't goof it up. Uh, the Mamluks are actually invading here because they did guarantee Cyprus. So, Venice, how's your war going? Yeah, minus 11. Cyprus and the Mamluks. Yeah, it'd be nice if we could become friends with Hungary, because they are someone else who could interfere a little bit with my plans, apparently. Oh, uh, export licenses. Um, lose legitimacy. Gain a bunch of legitimacy. Well, my legitimacy is basically capped right now and going up. Uh, so I don't need to gain 20. Losing 10 sort of sucks, but isn't the end of the world. I don't care about impressing Ferreira, but we could get five years of tax income, so we'll grant the privilege. Um, I suppose I can drop my army maintenance, although if I do, then some of my rebel suppression here will go away, which is not good. Let's start making that core. Thank you very much. Uh, also, how's my actual rebellion risk? Separatists still say 0%, which is good. 5.7 years, yeah, okay. So I'm going to keep my troops here. We're still making money. So that's good. But I'm not going to lower my army maintenance just because I like the suppression effect here. Uh, it's only minus 2.25, but it's something. Cool. That's a new button. Return province. I like it. She said, I'm sorry. I'm just going to give it back to you. I'm so sorry. Ah, we completed our mission to improve our relationship with the Pope. Very good. Uh, protect against Tuscany needs 11 army size. Um, prestige is going up. We do have an advisor for it. Actually, even with the advisor, it goes down because, oh, unlawful imperial territory. If we can win some more battles, we'll get that prestige tick, which might be nice. Uh, we've already got the cheaper regiment cost. The problem is, well, until the um, until the autonomy over here drops down, we're not really going to have the force limit. We'll have to spend more. Force limit is a factor of tax base or manpower? development so okay Modena has a 1.2 oh it's overall development the total of the base values of tax production and manpower right 552 five, so any boost to any of these will contribute to higher uh, manpower. Wow. 22 development in uh, Mantua. I didn't... And 12 and 14 in both of these. I didn't realize I start with such sort of like undeveloped provinces here. That's kind of interesting. 16, 16, 20, 30. I didn't actually realize Ferrera's super weak. Look at this. All of Venice. Ferrera starts with crap. 
Okay, Luca's only a 14 as well, and they're one's province. I did not realize Ferrero was such a weak pick. Hmm. Alright, well, fine enough. Um. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get this yet. I will go ahead and queue this up. At some point, we'll uh, take it, and then we'll get 10 years of discounted troops. We'll see how it goes. Huh. Yeah, so we're getting 2.2 .2 more force limit from having Mantua, although that's brought down by autonomy, which will go down over time. We'll get there. Oh, Genoa, sure, we can have access. Absolutely, my friend. All right, let's go in uh, speed four. We're going to wait for cores to finish. We're going to wait for some of the aggressive expansion to go away. We will reevaluate our targets at that point. We are sucking up to Rome. Um, we can probably stop that at this point. It's okay. Good. I will go back to sucking up to Austria over here. All right, they're not, they're not hostile, which is good, even though I denied them the unlawful territory thing. The actual penalty for it will go away. And at some point, of course, I will also core Mantua, which should help for a little bit. We got a CB against Tuscany. All right, so we got a bunch of options. That is a great name. Cristiano Boncompagni Lodovici. Excellent name. Um, let's go and we've got the defensive pact with them. At some point, we'll get actual proper romance with them at which point they will be willing to join more offensive wars. I'll go ahead and, and try to max that out for now anyway. But yeah, um, so sucking up to Hungary would be quite good. We have lots of relationships left. So that would be a really, really good target. Oh, the papes. The pape. When did you start hating me? Wants my provinces. Oh, shite. Minus 90, because they want Ferrera. So I just barely finished that mission then to suck up to them and get a little over 100. All right, well, that's fine. I would very much like Romagna. It's a very convenient location for me. What kind of allies you have? Hungary, Austria, and Genoa. Yeah, so that's not going to happen. Uh, unless... So I'd have to declare war on Genoa, get you to pull into the war. No, yeah, that's not going to happen. Like, if I can get them as a secondary person, there might be some options. Which that goes, Tuscany keeps building up an army. Hmm. What's my manpower limit? 11,000. So, I'm not, uh, I'm getting pretty close to there. Which isn't as high as I might like. Finished our core. Lovely. So, yeah, we're going to really, eh, these separatists keep moving forward. But now we will have less unrest, so that should start to improve a little bit. We still have our troops sitting around here, which is okay. Um... Force limit is still where it is. Protect against Tuscany. They do have a larger army. In fact, they grew their army, so now I think I would need an army of at least 12. Dang. Modena is hilly. I'm on full maintenance. Well, they don't have a CB against me or anything. Right? Right. Okay, so I don't have to worry about an instant attack. Of, uh, from Tuscany. If I did get in Modena with the hills there, that'd be pretty good. Fortunately, Tuscany also has hills, so attacking into them would be a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, damn, Papal States, why you gotta be like that? Oh, you actually formed a claim on it and everything. That's what happened. They completed their claim. Yeah, well, I mean, if you attack me, that's not the end of the world, because actually we would have some pretty decent alliances going on. Austria still is kind of meh. Good harvest. Ooh, that is a tough decision. We could use a lot of money right now, but i got to take the admin power. Alliance offer from Austria. Yes, please. Thank you very much. We're married, right? Yes, yes, yes. I've got basically maxed out improved relations. There it is. Actually does max out. I will recall the diplomat. Who are you allied with? You are allied with Hungary and France. Hey, can I ally with France? That worked out really well for me last time. Which would probably work out better than Hungary. England, Burgundy, Castile. So Savoy and France don't hurt, hate each other, which is convenient. Let's start. Let's start working. Let's start working on France. Okay. Um, and I don't really have to rush into anything. It would be nice to get that military tech. Milan is still tech three. Like Milan would be the one I'd prefer to attack. Hungary and Tuscany would be. Fine, as long as I can get some allies to come in with me. Hmm. <clears throat> I 
Do I actually have two castles? Do I still have the castle here? I do. Which is probably very handy, actually. I don't know where would be the place to, to stand. I mean, I got some rivers here, but I guess standing in Modena would be nice. They can come to me here, or I guess they could start sieging. Okay, I'll start. I'll stand in Modena now. If we do declare and Tuscany comes in... Ooh. Oh, how perfect! Okay, our air sucks. Although not as bad. We had, what, a 110 liter to start off with? So at least this air is still better than our original leader. But a 342 will go a fair ways for now. Not that we really need the diplomacy, but we're still focusing on military, which I think is going to be quite handy. Um, I'm considering kicking this advisor. In fact, I will do that so that we have a bigger war chest. And there's a Diplomatic advisor there, which is handy. Let's yeah, regain our marriage over here. Um, we're going to actually have to send a few more requests. I'm going to stop improving relations in Savoy. Get that back. Uh, I don't remember who else we might have. Well, that's it. Just Austria and Savoy. France, how are you feeling? Royal marriage. Bam. Alliance? Alliance. Hey, hey. Um, we got a minute. We could go and get another royal marriage somewhere. It'd be really nice if uh, Naples could become independent. I mean, we could see about alliances and things with Aragon, but I don't think that's what I'm looking for. So we'll just wait a little bit until we can get our diplomat back. There we go. Ally with France. Now we're talking. Now, oh, and France and Austria are not um, opposed to one another either. So this is really convenient. All right, bring it, Pope boy. We got this. We're still stocking up to France. Uh, we could finish stocking up to, um, yeah, sure finish sucking up the Savoy as well. Just try to bring all the modifiers as high up as possible. We still have a little bit of aggressive expansion here and there, a little unlawful territory to kick it around. It would be nice to make sure that all of our moods stay as well as possible before we try our next plot. I could spend some points developing some of my provinces. Oh, we're at negative stability. Do I want to go up? Yeah, I'm going to try to keep it at zero. Sucks to spend these points, but we'll do that. I won't do the thing where I keep it up to plus one, but I'm going to keep try to keep it up to at least zero just because there's a lot of negatives. Okay, what? I see that time to time. Like, some of the forts are red? What does that mean? I don't even have that view anymore. That was showing the red fort. But I was seeing, yeah, some of these things turn red and even... that ah, Here, right here. Okay, what does that mean? Papal states, they're not at war. I actually don't know what that indicator is. I'll have to figure it out before the next episode. Do do do. Um, pa pa. I think it's pretty awesome. I'm liking your position. Um, you know what? We're not going to start anything until these separatists fire. And I'm going to go stand in Mantua again. It does bring down the unrest, which will delay the firing. But I want to be in position so I don't get a river crossing penalty or anything. We don't have a leader. I don't want to use my king because my king is actually halfway competent this time. Um, I will go and spend the military power. I want to have a leader here before the battle starts. Pretty sucky. But it's because we only have 6.9 army tradition. So the fact that we got like a 2 one one last time was insanely lucky. This is exactly the sort of modifier I would expect. At least he's got one point of shock. And the siege actually will help. Uh, border friction. Piss off Milan, which doesn't bother me, because we're already going to hate each other. Or I just lose 100 Diplo power. No, no. We'll do that. They're going to hate me forever. We're rivals. Irritated over claim. Who cares? Tuscany's got another guy. Wow. Yeah, I might want to do a little bit of province development just to try to bring my... Um, Force limit up by one more. So, okay. So every point of development gives us another point one force limit. So if I want to get up to to ten, where's my force limit here? Oh, Meg's no, I'm not exactly at nine. It'd be nice if here it said like nine point. I guess is it nine point eight that I've got going on here? Actually, hold on. Shouldn't it be higher than this? Look, independent nation, 6. Let's just look at the whole numbers. 6, 7, 8, 10. 
10.8. My force limit is 10.8. So shouldn't I have a total of 10? And if I get another 0.2, so if I add two extra points of development places, shouldn't it go up to 10? Oh, you know what? It says Mantua 2.2. This is the raw number. It doesn't factor in... Oh, and that display doesn't factor in the autonomy. Oh, I don't like that. I would like it if it told you the autonomy here. Still, I must be damn close to actually having force limit of 10. I should probably buff up something somewhere. Goods, shipbuilding, production income. So no trade power. Really? More manpower. It ain't bad. But we're not ahead of time on any technologies. I think it would be foolish to maybe improve this right now. Although it's damn tempting just to get that extra force limit. You know, more efficient force limit. Um, is there any chance... I guess no one else has picked up the tech. No, there's that 5% discount. There we go. Yeah, we're going to take Pike Square right now. Who is this? Venice is fabricating claims. Well, that's bad news for me. Although, if Venice declared war on me, I'm pretty sure they'd get spanked hard. In fact, I would welcome a declaration on their behalf. Savoy would not jump in. And if Tuscany did, it would give me a great chance to beat up on Tuscany while having a lot of great defensive allies. Hey, uh, Venice. I should just insult you. I don't have someone available. There, that's almost 100%. You suck, Venice. Come at me, bro. France is almost maxed out. Very good. So at this point, since I have a free diplomat, if I were to declare war... Yeah, HRE, of course. Mm, defensive towards Ferreira, which will go away in time. Eventually they will love me enough that that minus 30 will go away. And the fighting another world war exhaustion. Oh, France would be very happy to jump in here later on. Very happy to jump in. They're just busy. French reconquest of Labour. Yeah, yeah, they're just busy. It's okay. We'll, we'll get back to you. And yeah, there's defensive for now, but eventually that will go away. So we just have to wait for more of that to end. Okay, no rush. We're capped on manpower, which always makes me feel like, oh, I should be attacking something somewhere. But I'm all right. So Tuscany, how big's your army? It's still at 12. Okay, that's probably your actual force limit, which I suppose I could check, but... <sighs> So, I mean, we haven't unlocked any of these buildings. It'll be interesting. Like, do we start building some of these right away? I think building the trade buildings in um, Ferrera and Mantua will be a very, very good idea. So we can get a bigger piece of the Venetian pie. We'll go ahead and recall that diplomat. I'm going to go ahead and improve some relations with Hungary. Hungry, hungry, hungry. Yeah. We'll get another royal marriage, maybe another alliance a little bit Whoa, there we go. Separatist forces have risen up. Somewhat more of them that I was hoping for. We do have slightly higher base morale. But that's all we've got going for us. And we have fewer people. Okay, we did get a decent roll there. But they got a pretty good head start. In fact, we are definitely going to get beat up here. Oof. Then we'll have to wait for all the reinforcements to kick in. Kind of want to be in a war right now so my allies will come and help out. Okay. Okay. In the interest of speed, actually, let me move the troops over here. Let's queue up some building. We got the next tech level, but they must have—they might have gotten it as well. Um, I'm going to split this in half. Consolidate? No, the other half. Save a few regiments, and just minimize how long it takes to reinforce. We got four underway, which will bring us to a strength of 12. They will bounce back a bit. We'll be above our force limit, but that'll also complete our Tuscan quest. Okay, you know what? That's going to be fine. It does suck right now. We'll be spending extra money on actually, you know, doing our reinforcements. And then we will be above our force limit. That's all right. How many reinforcements do we need? 2,000. Get 600. So in four months, we'll be ready to go after these guys. Hopefully, hopefully that will be sufficient. Hopefully they won't win the, the siege in that time. And they're making some progress, unfortunately. Okay, let's, uh, let's fast forward. Let's wait until the troops are in place. Unfortunately, there's no way for us to avoid a river crossing penalty on the attack. Because they have two maneuver. And we only have zero. So that sucks. 
New tech level for diplomacy. Um, I may as well take it. It unlocks the ability to mark, build marketplaces, which we may want to do. I'm very happy that um, buildings don't require power points anymore. You can do you can do the, the province development, which seems pretty strong. Oh, we completed that quest. Good. Just wait for the last little bits of reinforcements over there. Manpower reserves need to recover, which will give us 10 years worth of national tax modifier. And national unrest, but who cares about that? Uh, Re-improve relations with the Papal States. Well, that can't happen. They hate me. All right, we'll take the manpower quest, which might actually happen for a change. Seems unlikely, but it could. Um, so what we, all we have to do now is wait for some reinforcement ticks. Boom. How, how short are we? Half will get there. Um, they're not getting any stronger, and I don't think they're about to win the siege. So we can wait until uh, July 1st, and then we'll attack. Um, I don't have the mission to gain prestige. Prestige is nice. That's only 14 ducats, which, you know, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and take the prestige. Heck, it gives us more morale. So there we go. July 1st is hit. I just wanted to make sure we actually hit there and got the full tick. Now we'll move in. We're just slightly shy of our troops. Um, we could risk trying to do some general rules, but I don't think we, it's very unlikely we'd get anyone substantially better. That minus one is going to suck. Okay, we got a good roll. Another good roll. And again, we have the higher base morale. Although what I could have done too is, and I should have done this, is that. I think it's too late for them to get the bonus. Wait, do they also get the bonus? What? But he's my general. My advisor. Okay, I'm getting really lucky with these rolls, and thank God. As a small nation, it is hard so hard to deal with rebels so insanely hard okay good now we are above our force limit and i don't think we can afford to do that our force limit is still nine it is still nine so we need to shrink this down by three let me split this in half consolidate what does that do for us almost there split in half consolidate i mean i could be doing it more carefully here so I don't accidentally consolidate too many. There we go. So now we're back down to nine. And these guys will reinforce, which is totally okay. Whew. Should be no unrest because there should be the minus 20 right now. Plus the separatism goes away, is going down and unlawful territory will burn up completely at some point. Um, is there a building? I guess it's only 100 bucks to build a marketplace. I will go and do this right away, even though I'm losing money right now. I think that's a hugely good investment to get a marketplace going on for our... We will want it in Mantua as well at some point. It's in the right trade node. It loses a bit of its trade power because of the autonomy, but not that much. So I think I will probably prioritize that. We are losing some money. That's because we're reinforcing. Um, I can actually, even though this will slow down my reinforcement rate, so I'm going to bring it down to around there. So we're not losing money anymore. We'll reinforce a little slower, although we will eventually reinforce. And then we're going to be back to waiting. Johann Leopold of Austria. Well, congratulations. Do, do, do. Um, France, you're still in a war? You're still in a war. Okay, well, we're going to put a cut in here. Um, whenever France is out of its war, it's pretty likely that they will be very happy to join us on an offensive conquest, ideally of Milan which Savoy will come in on, that will dramatically improve our amount of territory. It's not in the Venetian trade node, which is unfortunate. We could decide to do something with Genoa at some point. We'll see. But mostly, I want to become Italy. So we have to own tons of stuff down here. But that will have to wait. I'm actually... Let's see here. Da, da, da. We don't need Parma. We need Siena. Okay, I don't think... Oh, we need Milan. Oh, we do need Milan. Okay, so we'll need Milan itself to form Italy at some point. So it's totally okay that we're going a wee bit north. Good stuff. All right, folks. Thank you very much for watching another episode of this brand new Let's Play, our Italian Ambitions Let's Play here. I actually don't know what I'm going to call this series quite yet. But um, of EU4 in common sense. How to speak common Italian? How to... I don't know. I'm going to have to come up with a good one. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.